The Meg is the latest shark film to come to cinemas, and also the biggest shark to come to cinemas. It is directed by John Tertel Torb and stars Jason Statham, Lee Bingbing, Winston Chow and others. I was really looking forward to this film because I love Jaws, it's a brilliant film, you can't deny it. And this film had a really fun concept, especially from the look of the trailer. The trailer really made it seem like the film was going to be a really fun time. And the marketing really embraced the ridiculousness and silliness of the film. I absolutely loved the poster that Warner Bros. released with the caption opening wide in the middle of it. It always makes me laugh. But the first act of this film was worrying. And it made me think that the whole film was going to go in the completely wrong direction and go completely against what the marketing told us the film was going to be like. A silly, goofy film that knew what it was. It was taking itself seriously and it was acting as though the reveal of the shark being a shark was a big surprise as if none of us had seen the marketing or knew what film we were going into. And I was really worried for the rest of the film because I thought it was going to be like that. And this is my only other con. It's more of a nitpick because it's such a small amount of time. But the very last two minutes and a few seconds into the credits just got a bit too ridiculous for the film's own sake. I'm not going to spoil it because it will include spoilers where it went too ridiculous. But the credits were really silly. They knew what it was, but I could tell why they put it there to make everybody laugh. Now on to the pros. The other two acts of the film. The first act is the bit I was not happy with. Second two acts were the fun that the marketing promised and they really really embraced the silliness and fun that you can have with this concept and it's what the marketing promised me and that's where I had a really fun time with this film it's mindless not as mindless as Fast and Furious but it's still really fun turn your brain off entertainment watch the shark I'm trying to eat people it's lots and lots of fun there are a fair few good jokes scattered throughout the film. The little girl in the film is immensely funny and very cute, and she was very good as child actors go these days. Jason Statham is very likeable. He's a brilliantly fun action hero, and you can tell for his performance that he knows it. I can't wait to see him in Hobbs and Shaw next to Dwayne Johnson. That is going to be such a fun film, I'm sure of it. There are a few stunning visual effects shots. There are a few shaky ones, but there's more good than bad in terms of VFX shots. And the so-called Meg is very well realised visually. I'm going to give the Meg 3 stars out of 5. This film is perfect if you just want to have an easy fun time for just under 2 hours one day. And I would highly recommend it for those specific moments. Turn your brain off but not to a ridiculous degree. And still have fun watching a shark run around and eat people. That's my review of the Meg and I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.